Hello everyone, we're so glad you're with us. It's theCUBE live at UiPath Forward 6, day one of two days of wall-to-wall -wall CUBE coverage. We're so excited to have from the main stage two great guests, going to be talking about the state of UiPath and a new exciting partnership. Please welcome back CUBE alum Ram Enzel, the co-CEO of UiPath, and Lloyd Adams is here, president SAP North America. Great to have you both on theCUBE. Thanks thank for you. coming. Great, great to be here. Yeah, yeah. Coming awesome. right from main stage, we appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Rob, it's been a year since we met you at, at Forward 5. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the state of UiPath, what has evolved since then. What are some of the things that, that you're seeing that you're excited about? Yeah, so we are super excited about last year. Last year we launched the UiPath business platform here in Vegas. And you know, I would say we brought together automation as a platform, we brought it to the market. I, I think many pundits and uh, investors and customers said, is this platform for real? You know, can we really use it at scale? Is UiPath more than RPA? And I think over the last year, we've actually proven that point. The, the challenge for us was always going to be, from a branding point of view, could we brand ourselves a little different than RPA, and would, would, it, would the market accept it? And I would say we were, I would say a little lucky. Thanks to Microsoft and OpenAI and the announcement around ChatGPT, it gave us massive levels of momentum to speak about what we do in AI. Previously, I don't think anybody wanted to hear what UiPath did in AI because you know, we were not the largest company in the world. And even though we demonstrated, Daniel showcased in his uh, keynote last year, Clipboard AI, which was built on GPT, we couldn't tell the world, you know, this is an open AI product, we're already using GPT, because nobody would have cared. <laughs> so when launching the platform, the branding was a big, Helping our, our internal folks understand how to position the platform was a challenge we knew we could overcome. The branding to ch change the market's perception on us. You knew that we needed Bobby and the chief marketing officer to really get behind. And that's a, diffi that's a difficult thing to do. And then the announcement came out, ChatGPT. And the next day, you know, 200, 200 million people understood how AI worked and everybody was an expert pretty, <laughs> pretty you know, soon. But what actually happened, we, we, we explained our specialized AI, how UiPath was built, RPA was built on AI from the very beginning, computer vision, understanding documents and screens, how we acquired a communication a mining product that had N NLP built into it. And before so, ChatGPT Before ChatGPT yeah, already had this. Before. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> so, you know, the whole world wanted to understand what you were doing. We had a great story, we launched it in, in in London, and we took it around the world and we explained it. And part of that story around specialized AI meets gen AI, becomes enterprise AI, people were, oh, and now I understand why the platform is relevant. And the platform's relevant because I can uncover these areas that I need to work on in my company. And by the way, you're solving many of my problems by building automations that are using AI. And so they had a story to tell, uh, the, um, their customer base, their, 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 their board, the CEOs, because everybody was trying to understand how could I use Gen AI? Am I missing an opportunity? You know, what are the use cases that are relevant? And we took, um, so forward a year, a, year, a year forward, we took in the last three to four months the focus on we will demo how Gen AI fits into the UiPath story. We're not going to make announcements, we're going to show investors, and at our earnings call, we will demo, demonstrate the value of including Gen AI in the product and making our product better so that customers receive more value upfront. So a year later, this show at Ford 6 is now showcasing autopilot in testing, autopilot in building scripts, and how customers are going to benefit from utilizing that. And then obviously, just I've got to throw this in, right? And then as part of that, our partnership with SAP, we're super pumped about that because we believe that together, story is way better for customers. And together, we're going to add you know, a tremendous amount of value for our joint customers. And, and Lloyd, you said on stage, I tweeted it, you're, SAP's all in. Oh, 100% in. But I got to ask you, because I've been following software for a long time, and it's not uncommon, it's actually very common that a, a big software company feels like any dollar that's spent on software, they got to get it all for themselves, and they, they tend not to share. Now, maybe some examples there are not the case, but you could have gone out and picked up an inferior product, could have. Um, and bundled it in and marketed your way, but you chose to, to partner. 
What's the genesis of that partnership and why did you choose to go that direction as opposed to what would have been a very common yeah. software industry No, path. it's a great question, and I think at SAP we believe that the pie can always get bigger for all involved if you're partnering with the right folks, right? And so that's what we really feel that we've done with UiPath. And as I mentioned in the keynote this morning, you know, why we're all so personally excited about this is because, look, over the last 50 plus years, we're really proud of the portfolio that we've been able to curate and put together with our customers and with our partners but you can always be a bit more complete than you are at any current point in time. And so I really do love the puzzle analogy that we used. Uh, you know, we, we were all, almost there, right? We were just a piece or two away from being able to provide truly, truly from an automation perspective what our clients are seeking. And so for us, it was a complete no-brainer to, to kind of complement what we already brought and all of the know-how and the data and the industry and line of business context with that extra you know, automation capability. And now we really do feel that we are the complete you know, package to bring to clients, right? And you know, as I mentioned this morning, uh, you know, over the last you know, so many years as we're moving more and more of our clients to the cloud, in point of fact, even before this partnership, you know, we have over 24,000 companies that have moved to the cloud using upwards of 130 plus you know, AI use cases, but we're just beginning to scratch the surface, right? And so a couple weeks ago, we announced you know, very proudly what we call Joule, which is our you know, uh, natural language, um, generative AI um, co-pilot that we're going to embed into our entire cloud solution portfolio across all line of business functions, including our business technology platform. And so at this point in time, coupled with the partnership that we announced, we're just so excited about the opportunity in front of us jointly to go after it and, and really help our customers because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. I, I would tell you, Dave, I, I, um, I remember with Daniel and myself met with Christian Klein and, and Scott Russell in, in Germany. There was just the pandemic was coming to an end and I drew on a whiteboard why this partnership should work, right? Because I'm, I'm with you. Partnerships generally in the software industry, sometimes questionable, right? And they are normally marketing announcements versus actual but when you, when, you, when you look at it, and I, I, it got to me, you know, when I, when I started meeting UiPath customers, when you listen to SAP talk about processes, they are the kings of understanding how processes work, how the bullet material is created, how production planning right. works, right? How those complex systems, it's ingrained in how they, they, they speak. And when you look at UiPath, you know, it's hard. And we even know that OpenAI try to, try to do something around what we do with computer vision. And then it's a very hard problem that we solve. We have a moat around that. And so going and acquiring that was not going to be easy. But there's nothing out there in the market. And so when you look at the combination of SAP and UiPath and how we can frictionlessly bring the, the whole world into an application together with it, what they do is phenomenal. What we do is uniquely beneficial in terms of tying speed to what customers need. Like if you look at the world we live in today, everything's getting faster and faster and faster. A CIO has got the toughest job in the world because everything is happening to them much, much quicker and they need to deliver results to their CIOs in faster time. So one of the customers I spoke that was on stage with me to, today actually, they actually said, look, if you can do this in 12 months, I'm going to go now with you. If you tell me two years, I can't wait two years. And I think the combination of that is going to make it easier for companies to make decisions. And I'm a huge believer in if customers win, it doesn't matter how this, you win. You always win if the customer wins. It, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, it's also changing the way that we align up front together before we even approach yeah. customers. And we're already starting to see that manifest itself in much you know, shorter cycles, which is, is great for our organizations, but more importantly, it's, it's, it's better for customers. Absolutely, and that was something, Rob, that really struck me this morning. Dave and I, and Rebecca Knight, who's another host with us, were commenting in their keynote analysis, the, the voice of the customer was not only infused throughout the keynote this morning that we saw, it was dramatically infused. The way the show opened, I haven't seen that at all. You, you mentioned you may have seen something similar, maybe it was UiPath. But that was really impactful, and that, to you, both of your points, that's what it's all about. Yeah. What's been some of the feedback, Rob, from customers so far on the SAP partnership? Uh, it's been overwhelming, to be honest, right? We've had um, customers just want to know how they can in embrace it faster. Many SAP customers are going through the migration to Rise, it's, it's on the move, and they're starting to see the value. Rachel Sandel, who's here from Orica, is kind of a, is leading uh, that together with what she's doing with SAP. You know, so the, 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 the feedback has been, we are so grateful that you guys come together because we see the value together much quicker. We actually had 
last week, right? Arnott was uh, talking about why they selected um, SAP and, and UiPath, and basically they said, because you came into the room together and you gave one version of how you were going to help us, we didn't have to make a decision on five different vendors. It was a slam dunk decision for us. We've even had a couple of contracts. You were busy up on the stage keynoting, but I've heard from my team, we've actually signed a couple of contracts today. Today? Right, yeah. and now obviously that's those cycles have been going on for a little, they didn't just start today, but we're hearing that same thing. It's just by virtue of showing up together, it's helping them propel forward faster. So really shared strategic vision is what I'm hearing. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all about, as I said, for me, it's all about assisting companies in this time of massive change in the technology industry, similar to 2007, 2008, and being able to deliver that value now, and not saying we're going to deliver it many, many, many years or many, many years later, um, but doing it now and being able to do it together. We have engineers working on the solution set, so it's not like this is just the selling piece. Correct. We actually have engineers combining the two solutions. Um, this, our solution accelerators, their solution maps, and being able to design together a, a, a future for, our, for customers. And that's really the mandate that we hear from all of our SAP customers that need to move to the cloud, many of whom are coming from you know, older legacy products, some of which have been highly customized. The beauty of this partnership with UiPath is it mitigates the fear and the worry that a lot of them have around, yes, I know I need to move, but boy, that's going to be timely and expensive and arduous, and this eliminates a lot of that, right? So I think it's a big breath of fresh air for a lot of clients to say, okay, as, as much as I have to contend with, and the CIOs are under more duress than they've ever been before, it gives them more confidence that, you know what, this is the time, this is yeah. the partnership. So you don't need to convince me on the importance of cloud and, and cloud migration, but my question is, is, are there discussions going on with customers where they're saying, well, you know, we actually want to leave this data on-prem, uh, we're worried about IP leakage. We want to work with you guys to develop our own sort of custom models uh, that are maybe specific to our unique domain uh, or our industry. Are you getting much of that? We are. I mean, from our side, for sure. So, you know, we've got an on-premise product and we've got a cloud product, right? And they are basically equal. And so, we offer our customers the ability to run in a sovereign-like way or to run in a gov cloud and to be able to deliver, to, be, to keep their data where they, da where they want to keep their data. It's actually even more than that, right? It also means that where the data is kept, it's managed by the nationality that runs that cloud and they have control over the keys to open the door and so on. So there's certainly a, a number of companies that are actually pushing in that direction. Many of them, the regulated industries are, are there or the government industries are driving that. And we see that more and more. But we also see the cloud being driven much faster as well. And so to talk, you know, when, when we announced Autopilot and one of the pieces of Autopilot for DU and communication mining is to build models that are customer relevant and to do them much faster. Because the time it takes to build a DU model for a customer from scratch, it can be odious, right? Customer's data is not that great. Uh, the models take a long time. And now we're able to use many of the GPT capabilities that we have built into the product to actually advance that up to, uh, I think, and I could be correct, Graham said eight to 10 times faster to build those models. So customers can bring their own models, they can enhance their models, it can be their only model that they have, or they can use, and they will use our foundation models as the starting point for that. Exciting stuff, guys. Thank you so much for joining Dave and me on the program, talking about the state of UiPath, the, the potency of this new SAP UiPath partnership. We know we're just scratching the surface, so we're going to have to have you back, because I know we could keep unpacking, but thank you very much for your that. time. Thank, thank you. Guys. Thank Great you so to much. Have you. Alrighty. Our right. pleasure. Thank you. For our guests and for Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's live coverage of UiPath Forward 6. We'll be back after a short break. See you in a minute. All right.